secrets revealed. Buhari, in confidence, told the cabal he will not endorse Tinubu to succeed him. He can't say this to Tinubu, but secret message has, you know, surfaced that um, Buhari has told some persons that he cannot see Tinubu succeeding him. The question is when he was supporting you, and although that's you guys' uh, business to settle, Nigeria is not your settling field, you know. Buhari clearly told this group of people, the secret audio that has come out, that um, he will not allow, you know, Tinubu succeed him. Tinubu has gone to meet him and has indicated interest to run for the number one position. Buhari said nothing and only just, you know, accepted and said, well, good, off, well and good. However, he did not say, truly, sincerely speaking, you know, what's going on in that regard, but told others that he will not support Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu succeeding him. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Why Buhari will not endorse Tinubu as his successor? Olufemi Adewumi is the permanent representative of the Center for Convenience on Democracy, Intelligence, CCDI in the United Nations, who is also the president of Right Monitoring Group, RM, RMG. In the interview, spoke on the state of the nation for 2023 presidential election, insecurity in the country, insecurity in the country, among others. It is normal and it is allowed. Anybody can contest if he or she is within the stipulated age, wherein it is one thing to have intention, but it is another thing for the intention to materialize. I heard Tinobu said it is a lifelong ambition for him to become the president, but he forgot that he has some he has some king makers when he when it comes to the issue of presidency in Nigeria. Some of them are not even politicians and they are not even up to twenty. They they there is also foreign interest for me in there is also foreign interest in Nigerian politics. I'll take that again. Some of them, these king makers in Nigeria that puts who becomes the president are not even politicians. Guess what? They are not up to 20. And there is foreign interest in Nigeria president. For me, it is entirely the ambition and personality. I have nothing against Tinubu. But I think it is another joke he has taken too far because I don't know exactly what he wants to tell Nigerians that he has done. In another climate, when you want to be a servant leader, you submit yourself to the law of the society. For example, the law says an individual cannot carry more than 5 million naira. A bowling van that usually carries 1.5 billion, two of it entered into his compound in the eve of 2019 election. The minimum amount I say again a bully van can carry before it moves out of the bank, the minimum amount is from 1.5 billion. And two of it entered into Tinubu's compound in the eve of 2019 election. The whole world saw it. And it has no explanation to it. He can't even take, he could take his money the way he wants. He's not above the law. Those, these are the issues we are talking about. People will ask questions about how he produced and removed people from office positions, which means he's not a Democrat. How can somebody who is not a Democrat want to become Nigerian's president? As a governor of Lagos State, he removed two of his deputies within eight years of his rule. He removed Koforola and Femi Pedro. He said he and he says it he is a Democrat. For me, somebody like Tinubu can do nothing. What he has been telling people on carrying Buhari along is a flick. 
and saying he will build on Buhari's legacy. Which legacy is he talking about? He should come and tell us how he is going to fight insecurity, how he's going to create employment so the youth can be gainfully employed. On the issue of his character, which people have been saying a lot about, he should come out and clear himself. He should come out and tell us how he got his money. He needs to unify. As the next president, he should also understand what people have been saying that Nigeria, no be Lagos. You can't pick and choose the side who becomes the president. Like I said, there are kingmakers who are mostly not even politicians, but they are important. Tinubu says he has the capacity with the way he removed the former governor of Lagos State, Akin Mumiambodi. He could not face the superior idea that man had. That is a sign of lowest self-esteem. Whenever any argument ensure, he takes a bow and does whatever he can to hurt the person the most. Can such an individual be the president? Question for every Nigerian to ask and to answer. So this is what is coming up and um, a lot of persons do not feel to be able to have what it takes to be Nigerians next president. Do you share the same view? Do you share the same idea? Are you of the same thought? These are the questions that have been posed on us. As right now, what we can see is that Tinubu becoming Nigerian's president is not meeting a very, you know, pleasant, is meeting a very stiff opposition from all quarters. A lot of persons of the opinion that this man should, you know, stay where he is and not bother to be Nigerian's president. Others are, he has done a lot for APC. It is time for him to get. So... I mean, the, ans the questions are here and there. And the kingmakers we are hearing, some of them are not even politicians. In the whole 200 million, they are not up to 20 that decides what happened. And so we will see the days are before us who becomes Nigeria's next president. We'll keep you up to date. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Nigerians are saying this no be Lagos. So we will see in a couple of days, weeks, months, the cat will be out of the bag. Precisely a year plus a few months, here we are. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.